guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina for a very, very good reason. We have the all new 2021 Chrysler Pacifica, our particular one. We're going big on Rady's Rides because we're not ready to go home. This is the all new top luxury trim known as Pinnacle. But before we dive into this people mover of a minivan that's ready to go up against the fleet of SUVs out there, let's talk a little bit about minivan history. It all goes back to the 1980s. Lee Iacocca, the head honcho over at Dodge, Chrysler, and Plymouth said, you know what? No more station wagons. Let's create this new way for families to travel. And it was a successful hit. Now, fast forward to the 21st century. Everybody is still in that SUV, CUV, crossover craze of a vehicle. But Chrysler is still wanting to say, listen, if you want the best way to transport your family, loved ones, and belongings, there's nothing like a minivan. What you're going to find for 2021 is even more additional features, including, of course, safety features, lots of different powertrain choices, plus you're still going to get that same stow and go capability that is second to none. And this really is the top selling minivan of all time. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this 2021 Pacifica Pinnacle and find out, is it time to give up your SUV and say, you know what? As minivans can really get the job done and also be a joy to drive. Right off the bat, the styling. They've made some new changes for 2021, especially at the front end of the business. So you're going to get new headlight housing, all LED headlights. So you have an LED headlight, daytime running lamp. And what's nice is, is that on the Pacifica, all the trims standard are going to get LED lighting. As you drop down, you can see the strong body lines to kind of really showcase the extra width at the front. You're going to have your lower fog lamps, a little bit of silver trim, but I'm glad that they brought the fog lamps in. One thing I am going to zonk is this fake vent here. I wish they would have just left it smooth, but they kind of did that to really blend it in with the rest of the grill area. So I get what they're doing there, but I just would have left this finish a little bit smooth. So I am going to zonk that. But what I definitely am not going to zonk is the way that they took the bodywork kind of wrapped it around and made this nice little front lip spoiler. Even the way they took the body lines and kind of just circle around the bottom of the fog lamp housing really gives it a nice muscular look that the minivan has been lacking for the most part for a lot of recent years. Now, as we come across new grill for the front fascia, so you can see how they took the Chrysler badge, that flat silver finish, almost like a brushed aluminum finish, with the Chrysler logo there. Of course, you're gonna have a forward-facing camera. I like the gloss black on the grill, fully functional, and I'm really digging the design. Nice width, and even the way they took that brushed aluminum from the badge, and then kind of just made a nice U-shape there to really give it that extra depth of style. Down below, same story, that gloss black, and you'll notice that lip that goes all the way across, nicely integrated, gives it the width, and gives it some aggression, which I think in a minivan is a very, very good thing. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you're gonna notice a unique style to the actual body line. So they have a nice little sunken dip area there, and then it's gonna kind of curve towards the A pillar. Gives it a nice flow, and I think what was also smart is how they kind of fold and make a nice hard crease where the hood meets the grill. That really gives it a little bit of a cleaner look, and I think overall that that is gonna really just draw your eye to it. And I think that's the one thing is that over recent past, some minivans, your eyes don't even wanna look at them because they're a little bland on the styling. Definitely on this 2021 Pacifica, they really upped the game. Now, as we come around the bend, no flat black, no flat plastic or anything like that. Everything is painted beautiful. You're gonna get on the pinnacle, these wonderful 20 inch wheels. So hand polished aluminum, you have that dark metallic gray finish there. Love the split spoke design on it. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of these tires? 245 on the width, nice 50 series sidewall is gonna give you a comfortable ride. And our Pacifica being internal combustion engine is all wheel drive powered. And you still have the stow and go power uh, capability with this vehicle, even with the all wheel drive. But very, very clean, classy setup, especially because we have the pinnacle. One thing I wanna, kind of show you with the way they did the body lines. Look at how the crease there on the front fascia goes into the fender, and then it's just gonna drift all the way down the side of the vehicle. I love on the pinnacle, pinnacle trim, you have the brushed aluminum mirror caps. Just gives it that extra level of class and touch 
the LED lighting. You're going to have 360 cameras, of course, more cameras on this than a rolling armored truck vehicle going down, down the road. So that's something to keep in mind to keep your family safe. You have flat silver, that brushed aluminum, and very nice close roof rails. So instead of having the raised ones that could cause a lot of wind turbulence, I like the way they keep them nice and flush to the actual roof. And then you're going to have that trim that goes around the whole perimeter of all the glass. Classy on the pinnacle badge, like the name, gives you that nice luxury feel. Brushed aluminum along the bottom and the way they kind of flare it out towards the rear, really, really great. And then of course you're going to get power sliding doors on both sides. These are all technology that you find on other brands, but really it was Chrysler, Dodge, and Plymouth that really brought that technology and those features into the minivan class. We work our way back. You have a large quarter window that's going to bring in a lot of natural light for people sitting in that third row. And I like the way that they hide the rail system so that when the door opens, you don't have this ugly looking design. Everything is incorporated very, very clean. You could tell that they've been doing this for a while over at Chrysler. Even that body line that starts off the door handles and then just drifts down nicely into the rear bumper. It, it allows a nice pleasant flow to really draw your attention to all these sweet spots. And even the side of it, it's not like just a flat slab. They flare out that bottom portion to give it more depth of style. We get to the rear of the vehicle. You have a very low roof spoiler. You have that, of course, painted shark fin antenna. One thing that I would have done is taken off the rear wiper and kind of found out a way to tuck it up here so it swings down. But I do love the way that they put the Chrysler badge. And if you notice, even the, the whole concept of design of the taillights, which are all LED, has that same signature philosophy that goes with the Chrysler badge. You have your Pacifica badge on one side. Like I mentioned, we have all-wheel drive capability. And then as we drop down, the brush aluminum ties in perfectly with the front, with the sides, and those roof rails. So it's nice to have a little bit down low. And I think it was super smart. No exhaust, no fake exhaust. Everything is tucked up nice and clean and gives it just a perfect look from the back. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Pacifica Pinnacle. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. One zonk is there's a prop rod. They should have a hydraulic hood strut, at least on the Pinnacle trim. Underneath there is gonna be that tried and true Pentastar V6. So that is a 3.6 liter V6, naturally aspirated, 287 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Like I said, it comes with all-wheel drive, made it to a nine-speed, that torque flight, nine-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 in about 7.3 seconds. The vehicle does weigh around 4,000 883 pounds. Remember, you do have that plug-in electric hybrid capability on this Pacifica if that's the route that you choose to go, or you could stay tried and true with the internal combustion engine. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the big things. Let's get to that interior and show what the Pinnacle brings to the table. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle trim. I'm telling you right now, you know that saying, sitting in the lap of luxury? I really feel like I'm in the lap of luxury in this thing. And I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I was looking at an SUV, but now I'm starting to see that, hey, minivans aren't boring anymore. They're really bringing it big. I'm liking the style of this one. I even found out that I had an extra couple kids I didn't even know about. So maybe the minivan is the way to go. How much is this pinnacle? Because it's really caught my attention. MSRP, the way that this one is optioned, is right around $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Look at the touches. Soft touch up top, the way they took the caramel brown with the contrast stitching, really nice design. The wood trim gives it that extra style of class and luxury. And I'm loving the two-tone color interior. I think that really breaks it up nicely. Soft armrest on that caramel tan color. It even has a coveted, two Twinkie holder up top, and then down below, you know what? Treat yourself. Get a foot-long meatball sub from Subway and a bottle of root beer to wash it all down. Lots of room in the door pocket. We do have the optional Harman Kardon sound system with a 10-inch subwoofer in the back cargo area. Now, as you go from the door panel to the dash, I like the way they have a nice handle to pull yourself in. And then that same soft material, the caramel brown tan stitching going all the way across 
little bit of extra wood because we started with some wood on the door panel and this is all new for 2021. Really liking the silver trim, the style of the AC vents, more of that wood finish, but boy oh boy, look at that. 10.2 inches of visual pleasure, bam, right in your face, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto that are wireless. So wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have Amazon Alexa, I'm running out of fingers here with all the great features on this thing. There's over 90 standard safety features on this Chrysler Pacifica. This one even has more. It's over 100 with the options. Now, you could easily get into your AC controls. We have ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. The Uconnect 5 system, which you are seeing right before your very eyes, is five times faster. Five times faster than the Uconnect 4. They even have a new feature that they've upgraded called FamCam. So, as you can see, our luggage, there's a jacket back there, another jacket over on the side. What's great about the fam cam is that you could actually select, you see how I'm selecting what seat? Who's this? Who's that sitting there? Oh, that's a kid that looks like a backpack. So you could actually select what seat you want to look at. And what's great for young families that have kids in those rearward facing uh, safety seats, you could actually see their faces with the fam cam. It's the only one in the auto industry that does that. That's what Chrysler is bringing to the table. But you can see just how fast this reacts. Go back home, go back to navigation. I'm gonna throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera. We have 360, you have your trajectory, and then of course you could change the angles. Look, out front, very nicely done. I think they've done a great job. It's super clear and I'm so glad that it takes a lot of the space up instead of you trying to use a magnifying glass to see things, it uses a lot of the space on the screen, which makes sense. Put it back in the park, you have your rotary dial for that Torque Flight 9-speed automatic transmission. A Little bit of gloss black, but the good news is, if you like buttons and knobs, you came to the right place. You're gonna have your radio controls and AC controls, so you could use Uconnect 5, or you could use the good old-fashioned way, just like your great-great-great-grandfather in his original uh, Dodge product worked his AC. And then as you work your way down, you're gonna have your DVD player because we got entertainment. Little bit of gloss black, but watch this. Push, and then you're gonna have wireless charging and then two USB standard plugs. You have two USB-Cs and an aux jack. And then guess what? It just closes up nicely. One last thing, you could put probably two Snicker bars in there. So if you're waiting to get hangry, keep the Snickers in there. You got your two cup holders, a little bit of gloss black. I like the way they raise this up. And then look at this, that's my hand. So that's Joe Rady's hand passing through. Hello. So you could put a sack, a satchel, a bag, maybe even a little basket down there with some Easter eggs and they'll stay safe. That's the thing is there's so much usability, versatility, and they didn't leave any stone unturned. All space has been used to its full efficiency. Key fob. Not too shabby, I'm liking it. You get the Chrysler badge there, a little bit of chrome finish, and then you spin it around, there's all your features. So you have your remote start, you could open up the doors. If you wanna panic a little bit, hey, just push the panic button, it panics for you. So that's the great features that you have. They got rid of it, thank you Chrysler. They got rid of the captain's chair armrest. You have a larger center console and lid on the Pacifica, especially the Pinnacle. Nice soft leather, this is Napa leather. I actually saw them fly it in from Napa, so we're good to go there. Open this up, you could easily put two softballs in there. So if you're rolling around with your softballs and you need a place for your balls, you can put those in here. You have a USB-C, a USB and a 12 volt, and you have a coin slot. So if you're still using coins, those old fashioned things, you could actually slide them in there very nicely. And then here's really the cherry on top of your Sunday with extra whipped cream. Look at this, soft Napa, love the design. Look how wide, the seats are very comfortable, just like your lazy boy at home. Love the color, the piping is great. And then of course you're gonna get full power assist for the passenger and the driver. And on top of it, this massive panoramic glass roof here with your sunroof capability, which is a wonderful feature. One zonk though is this mirror. It would be nice if there was a frameless mirror instead of this very thick black plastic frame mirror. But why don't you come over to the business end I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Chrysler Pacific. All right guys, here we are, business time. I'm telling you, this is where the metal meets the road because 
this thing has so many more features than any SUV I've been in. I love the pinnacle badge. It lets you know that, hey, you went big and you're gonna be able to drive it home, which is a nice touch. They even have a little area for your umbrella. They just, they thought these things out. And then I'm even digging the brushed aluminum finish on all the seat controls. That lower lumbar feels so very nice. Two memory seat settings, so of course, let somebody borrow your uh, Chrysler Pacifica. Hopefully somebody you know so they bring it back and they don't steal it from you. The other great thing is with Uconnect 5, you could actually have different users so that when you come in, you select your little avatar that you have and it sets everything up, your presets, your backgrounds, a whole nine yards. That's something different from the Uconnect 4. Steering wheel, classy. It's crazy how you take a little bit of aluminum finish and it just brings up the level, love the touches, your Chrysler badge, flat black on the buttons. The only zonk is this thing is manual, and I can't even find it, manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. This should be electric at this price point, and especially it's the pinnacle. So that is one zonk, but you know what? Check out the dash, super clear. I love the blue LED lighting. I love that massive monster display, digital display in the center. You could toggle through a cornucopia of information, super clear. And then of course you have an analog tack, analog speedometer, nice setup overall with your temperature gauge. Right now it's a little crisp, 57 degrees. But you know what? This is only the start of the fun in the Pacifica. Let's get to the mid-row and see what big things are in store for your passengers. All right guys, mid-row time, real nice and simple. You just push the button, easy power sliding. And then you can see that, guess what? The wonderful interior is gonna continue into the mid-row. You got a nice grab handle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lift up that cap captain's armrest, captain chair armrest and slide on over. And here is the amount of space that you have in this wonderful setup. What's great about a minivan, getting in and out is super easy. And look what we have on the backs of the seats. You have full entertainment. Now for 2021, they've added more games and you have that great flexibility that guess what? Your kids are gonna be occupied and not bother you on those long family trips. And I love the way it's just so seamless that you just flip it up. You got all your connections, you got your wireless headset, remote control, the whole shabam. You even have a nice little cubby here for some of those like peanut M&Ms while you're watching your movie. And then look at this, sliding storage. You could li literally put a football in there. So if you're trying to hide a football from somebody, put it in here, two cup holders, and then guess what? We're just gonna slide that right back. Speaking of sliding, yes, the seats do slide. I got these wonderful pillows. So when you go pinnacle, you get these really classy pillows, even on the back, Alcantara material. So they really went big, really wanted to showcase the luxury, feel, fit, and finish, armrests, they're a little skinny, so I am gonna zonk it, but it is nice to have that extra touch. And you have one on each side, which is kind of great. I do like that. Heated seats in the back. And then of course you could recline. And then you could just stare at the Alcantara microfiber suede material on the headliner. We got our rear AC controls, everything right here. I could adjust the temperature real, real easy. Watch my movie and just munch on some Twinkies and some popcorn and whatnot. And then guess what? If somebody's peeking in the window and you're like, who's that creeper? You just do that. You're like, goodbye, get out of my face. The one thing I am gonna, I'm gonna have to zonk it, no ventilated mid-row. So it would be nice. I do have heated, but I don't have ventilated mid-row, which is kind of crazy in here. One last feature, check this out. So if you need extra storage, look at this. Look what we have here. You actually have floor storage, easy to get to. I'm telling you right now, this is the ultimate in cross-country family transportation. You just close it up, pop it down, and then you're good to go. But you know what? We still got one more row to go. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get to that third row and see how your passengers are gonna be loving this Chrysler Pacific. All right, guys, time to get into the third row. And this is really where the minivan wins hands down. It's like Sylvester Stallone in that movie Over the Top and he slams that other guy's arm down, this is what the, this minivan does to your SUV. Watch how easy. First of all, I just want to show, it's got this wonderful chauffeur feature. So you hit that button and that actually pushes the seat. Both sides you could do right out of the way, super, super easy. 
And then one, two, three, look at the room that we have. Nice low loading floor, which is great. And then we're gonna climb on in. I'm gonna pull out my transmitter here so I don't mess it up. And now we're just gonna slide on in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So here we have power tilting back. Look at this. Let's see your SUV do that. I have my own sunroof back here, which is wonderful. Nice to have not only the panoramic, but also a separate sunroof. You have your rear AC vents. Those Remember those quarter glass windows? Great size. USB-C and USB on both sides, plus cup holders and a tray for some Skittles back here. So you could actually, here's your USB-C, your USB. You could put your Skittles in here and then look, this is great. You could stargaze or you could look at the rainbow. Crazy. The good news is, is that if you have some teenage kids and they're not driving themselves and you're taking them on a date, use the fam cam and watch what's going on back here. You may not have, they may have to change the name to some other name of cam, uh, depending on what's going on back here. But you can use the fan cam and yell at them, hey, two feet apart back there, keep your hands in your pocket. But boy, oh boy, they really have knocked it out of the park. Oh, I almost forgot. And if your kids make a mess back here, you have your vacuum cleaner. I got some dirt in here, I wanna. So think about it. They can make the mess and they can clean up their own mess. You don't have to be their servant anymore. Real easy to do and then it just stows away. But if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's check out that cargo area because this is now another area where the minivan wins hands down over the SUV. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. You hit the button, comes up nicely. And this is another area, like I said, where the minivan wins hands down. Look how low the rear bumper areas. Look how low it is to get things in and out. And here's another little fun fact. You don't need a family. You could go out and get one. You can make one. You don't need a family to have a minivan. Let's say that you're in a rock band and you have a lot of equipment. I'm telling you right now, you'll get more of your band equipment in and out of this minivan a lot easier than you will your SUV. I promise you that. But if you need more proof, you're going to have a nice low floor, even with the all wheel drive, we have a nice low floor in there so you could get taller objects. And then here's the great part over here on the side, you get your 12 volt and you have all your electric seat switches. Watch this stow and go. Chrysler is the only one that has that stow and go capability. And the wonderful news is one touch and I'll just let the magic happen. It's a little slow, but you know what? It's just cool to see and just very seamless. There goes that third row. Bye. Think about it. Maybe you always wanted to start a band. Now you have that easy usability to get things in and out maximum on the cargo space. Plus you still have that 10 inch Harman Kardon subwoofer back here. But if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's go ahead and take our Chrysler Pacifica for a little spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Pinnacle. Right away, you just feel like you're in this ultimate of luxurious vehicles, which it is. I mean, it is a minivan with the bar raised all the way super high. I don't know how the other brands can even compare with this Pinnacle level of trim. Everywhere you look, you touch the feel, the fit, the finish. I'm even digging the dark wood. I think it kind of just ties it all in, especially with the tan Napa leather. Getting to the new Uconnect 5 system is a piece of cake, very short reach. And then, like I said, having that wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto is gonna make just connecting that much easier for you. Steering has a light feel to it. And I think another thing that a lot of people are gonna enjoy with this Pacifica, especially the all-wheel drive version that we have, you just start and go. You don't have to put in different modes. You don't have to be concerned about what the climate is doing because the car, the, the vehicle, is going to read all of those different inputs and then take the power from the front and transfer. And it can literally transfer 100% of the power to the rear wheels depending on 
particular situations. So that's something to just be aware of with this Chrysler Pacifica, um, especially with the all-wheel drive. But uh, steering wheel has a light feel to it, which I think many people are going to like. I personally like a little bit more weight to my steering, but the input that you're getting from the front end is very nice. The ride, they reworked all the suspension uh, tuning, the damping and everything really gives a nice uh, compliant, confident ride. Even going down this tight, twisty road here, it just allows you to sit back and just enjoy yourself. And I think you can enjoy yourself up front and then of course your passengers, whether it's your family or friends, or maybe you're just doing some Uber driving, you could take people all over the place and really just allow them to be comfortable back there as well. All right, guys, little acceleration test. This is Rady's Rides on throttle. Smooth shifts from the nine speed. All right, guys, we got out onto the highway. I really want to showcase how this Chrysler Pacifica just glides down the road for 2021, especially on our platinum trim, you are gonna have more sound ending material and also thicker glass. The great news is all the Pacifica trims get a noise canceling windshield. And because we are in that pinnacle, like I said, you're gonna get the thicker side glass, which is really gonna create a nice serene experience so that you can pay attention to what's important, the road in front of you, and also the occupants and make sure that everybody is happy and very, very safe. The Uconnect system is, is wonderful. This Uconnect 5, the clarity of the graphics, the icons, everything just looks fantastic at a quick glance, and it's easy to use. Some of these vehicles we get into on Rady's Rides, it's like you gotta read an Encyclopedia Britannica, the whole set, just to figure out how to put coordinates into the navigation system. With this whole system, it's very, very simple and very intuitive. All right, guys, it's been another great day here in North Carolina. I definitely want to thank all the folks over at FCA, especially Chrysler, for allowing us access, being on this media event with the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Boy, oh boy, there was already plenty of reasons for you to drop your SUV like a bad habit and just kick it to the curb. Now, with the pinnacle trim and the changes that they've made, it's the hands down supreme winner when it comes to space, when it comes to drivability, the all wheel drive, the amazing interior, and that awesome stow and go feature that is so unique to the Chrysler brand. But if you wanna keep seeing minivans, and I'm telling you, they're changing, and my advice is get behind the wheel of one because it'll surprise you. If you wanna keep seeing these on Raised Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Got to give it up to the camera person supreme, queen of the camera, Lori working that camera like a champ. Show some love for her in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.